Uh-oh, I'm wearing this shirt again. I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer with ReadTheStars.com. This is your weekly horoscope forecast for August 29th through September 4th, 2016. Yes, Mercury is going retrograde this week. It will begin, actually, Tuesday at 9.04 a.m. Ugh. Mercury retrograde, for those of you who do not remember, is a time when it is very difficult to get things across. Communication becomes a challenge. Working with computers and cars and travel arrangements become difficult. Even signing a simple contract can become much more complicated than it needs to be, so it's important to look at the fine print. We do not crawl under the rug at Read the Stars. <laughs> what we do is understand that Mercury is off duty for a couple of weeks, actually through September the 21st. And in the meantime, what we want to do is do our best to honor our own ability to make things connect and take things slowly, don't rush, all of that good stuff, okay? So that is by far, well, maybe not by far, so some other big news as well. We have an eclipse of the sun, which is coming on Thursday, September 1st, and that's going to be at about 5 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. This is a, a chance for us to have a very big new beginning, and in some ways that new beginning happens from the outside. So if something is changing in your world, kind of do the best you can to embrace it. It is in Virgo, so um, for those of you who have Virgo prominent in your charts, those so if it's your birthday time around now, or if um, you have Sagittarius, Pisces, or Gemini in your chart, it might not be an easy change. If you have Capricorn or Taurus in your chart, it might be a little bit easier on you. So those are the two humongous things, and we have a couple of little uh, things going on. Venus moves into Libra on Monday. Liam Venus and Libra, she comes to her home. She's very happy. Everybody's very kind and sweet and nice. And you'll feel very kind and sweet and nice too when you have your dealings uh, during the time period that Venus is in Libra. And one last thing I want you to notice on Friday, the sun opposite Neptune, because the sun will be in Virgo and Neptune will be in Pisces. And um, that happens on Friday again. And this is a time when you really... You, it can let your imagination soar if that's something that you have the option of doing. But if you're in a very concrete sort of business, look out for deception and look out about what you're saying and how you're expressing yourself because it, I'm concerned about the combination of the Mercury retrograde and the Sun-Neptune effect becoming um, a real strain in terms of getting facts across the way that they're supposed to go. So that's the news. And here is the day-by-day -day information that you might want to use in order to plan out your week. On Monday, we will have the moon void, of course, very quickly as it moves from Cancer into Leo in the morning, very, very early, 2.23 a.m. to 4.11 a.m. And then on Monday, also at 2.32 a.m., Mercury and Venus will come together right there at the very, very end of Virgo. And then Venus will move into Libra because Mercury is moving a little bit slower these days because on Tuesday it is going retrograde. I hope you'll use Monday to do any final preparations, backups, etc. that you need to accomplish before the retrograde begins. The retrograde begins officially 9.04 a.m. I've already gone through that. And if you need counseling about it, you know where to find me. Judy, J-U-D-I at ReadTheStars.com. I'll be here for you. <laughs> um... Wednesday, not uh, not too difficult, but be careful about your activities early in the morning. We have a void moon from 12.20 a.m. to 11.22 a.m., and then the moon goes into Virgo. This can make it a little bit easier.